Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we saw that we can come over here and update a contact. So we can decide to change the picture. So I'm going to change this to use this name. Then I'll just change these first names to this updated. Then now we can save. So when we save, you will see that the information is updated so you can come here but now for a contact that is that doesn't have a picture if they come here you see that there is nothing and this is not looking good so what we want is to be able to show the press holder and also be able to update the picture from here so we're going to have something quite similar to this so we're going to go to our create contact component then we want that section where we, there's a press holder so we can get there so we want to copy this image basically so we go to our contact detail, then we can come and add a check for when we don't have the picture. So here we can say if we don't have the picture, not contact picture, then show this. So remember we are going to now be using the default one or the local picture. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep only the local file. So here we're gonna keep local file.path because this is what's going to be there when the user has chosen a pic has chose when the when the user chooses a picture so also we need to be sending it down here also we need to import the default uri because we need a way to show it so now we can make sure it's being imported so i'm going to go up here and import it so now if we go to the details let's make sure we have the style so we're going to go to styles and have image view so here we can have image view. We need the width and height. So let's see how the style was. So this is the create contact. So for the image view, we need this. So I'm just gonna copy this and also have it here. Just repress everything. And save. So when you save, you see that we get this. Now I want us to have a text that says something like add a picture now I'm gonna be wrapping everything here in a view so let's do view then we move this in there so here I'm going to have some touchable then we can say add picture all right so we need this to be in the center so we can just have a simple style here so let's go ahead and so let's go ahead and align item center so you see that goes in the center i also want it to be blue and also i want some paddings here on top and bottom so we can have some padding vertical let's have a 21 so now it's better now i want to make this one blue and also have an on press so can come here and have a style so for this style let's make it blue so we can have colors color colors with primary okay now I, wa I want to have an on press so every time we press this we are going to be opening up the picker you guys remember the picker that we have here this one that's the one we need to open up so for us to be able to use it we need to have some ref that we can pass it so first let's see how we use it so i'm gonna go here and see how we use it so we say image picker so we're gonna come over here and make sure it's also in this component so it expects us to give it on file selected and also the ref so let me go to the screen for create we're gonna be borrowing some things there so we're gonna go to create contacts then we need to define the ref so we can go to now the screen for contact detail then we need that ref defined make sure we are importing use ref so we're gonna go to here make sure we're importing use ref another thing is we're going to have the functions to close and open that picker so if we went to first we also need this one this set local file so we can have set local file here set local file defined 
just make sure you're importing used it all right then we also want to have this open sheet close sheet then and then on file selected so i'm going to copy this and move it here and then copy all of them so if we go to our details again we can come here and have our definition so we can have close sheets open sheet and also on file selected and also the sheet ref so that means we can come here and pass the ref so she ref equals the ref let's pass on file selected and also let's pass open sheet all right open sheet equals open sheet so now if you go to our component here we can get this first import image picker so now we can get our open sheet here so we can say open sheet also we need the sheet ref and also the on file selected all right so now that we have those we can use them so every time the user clicks the this button here this one we want to call open sheet so we can go here where we have add picture and here call open sheet like this so if i click here you see it comes up now when i choose the picture so i'm going to choose any random picture see that it's not being displayed here so meaning we need to see how we are handling the the on file selected so i'm going to go to the index to the detail screen which is here then on file selected i want to do a console log here for the image like this so if we come here and choose a picture so let's choose uh, this and save so you notice that here down we get the image so when we say set local file the image should have the path okay so we want to make sure we are sending local file down here so now we need to make sure we're sending local file to go to local file so now if you come here and let's say we change it so i'm going to choose one we choose this and save see that it shows here so what we want is every time that the user chooses it we want to now upload it okay so we already have an, a helper to upload so we're going to come here and call it remember it's called upload file so let's go ahead, let's go to the contact and see how we use it so what we do is we call upload image then we give it the file and then there is also there is an, an on success where we can turn on let's say the loading indicator and also we need to update the the picture for that contact on the server so i'm gonna copy this handler for the upload image then i'm gonna go to our detail so every time it is selected we're gonna call upload image let's import it with the local file so i'm gonna have some state here to represent that we are updating so that we can disable this and maybe this button so i'm gonna go here up here and set up another state variable so this is gonna be updating image it can be set updating image it's gonna be false by default so now so now down here we can say set updating image to to so now before we start to upload we can set uploading image to true then when we are done we set it to false then we want to call edit contact so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually call the action then we want to be spreading the contact so right now we already have the the contact on these details and that's in params dot contact now remember these we need to send them to our action as camera case so what you can do here is we can first destructure them so let's have const then we're gonna have the first name let's get them from params dot dot contact actually it's item here yeah so it's item so let's get them from item so here 
let's get them from item so item then it's gonna be first underscore name like this now when we when we are calling this we can pass first name also let's do the same thing for the last name and the other values okay so let's see so first name last name this will be last name then this should be phone underscore number this can be phone number so we have the phone code so the phone code will be the country code so phone code so country code this will be the phone code and then we have the is favorite this will be is favorite all right so now that we have this we can pass them here so that's the first name the last name the phone number that is favorite like this then also the phone code so this should be small i then the phone code like this so let's save now this should be item because we already have item so when we are done up the uploading we don't really want to navigate like we are here so i'm gonna first comment it out also when we are done when there is an error in the upload we can set updating image to false like this okay so now that we are here i believe we can test it out so i want whenever we are updating i want to show this i want to change this text to updating picture so we can now get this this updating image and also send it down to the child component so we can say updating image equals updating image now if we go here we can pick it now once we have it we can come here on this text and say if we are updating then show updating otherwise show this text here that add picture all right so now if we came here let's say we now say okay choose from camera uh let's choose one looks like we have some errors so whenever we choose one you see that it's updating and whenever it finishes or fails it should change back so let's wait for it but you see at least it's showing updating meaning the code up to here should be working so i'm going to oh yeah so for the id we need to pass item.id and not just the and not just the the item so make sure you're doing that so here let's try again i'm gonna choose one so it's gonna try to update so now it is done and you see that it shows add so what i want to do now is whenever it finishes okay so also when it succeeds to upload i want to turn off the loading when we have actually saved the contact on the server so i'm going to come here where we have this on success handler then i'm going to have set image updating to false so also i want to have a state for whenever we have finished updating the picture successfully so that we can be able to show the whole the layout again here so i'm going to go to here on top and also have another state so this state is going to show something like upload succeeded or suc yeah succeeded set upload succeeded looks good make sure this is camera case so here when it succeeds or when on this when we have this on success we can set upload succeeded to true all right so now we can pass upload succeeded down so upload succeeded here now if we come to to our our layout so instead of us showing this when you have updated successfully 
we want to remove it and show the the contact picture because at that point it will have updated so here i'm going to have a check and say and not upload succeeded let's make sure we are passing getting it as a prop every time the upload has not succeeded we want to show this so i'm going to come here and let's say we choose one so i'm going to come and choose some picture let me choose this so if we do that you see it's going to say updating so once when it finishes we remove it and then we show the bigger version of it like we do normally which is what's happening right now so every time we have it so i'm going to go to this image component and say if we have the contact picture or we have just uploaded a new one then we want you to use the profile picture or so let's make sure that this is like this so if we have either the picture or we just uploaded a new picture we want to use either the picture or the newly uploaded picture so we know that our newly uploaded picture will be in the local state so we can actually use that so we can do local local file dot path here okay so we want of course do this every time we want to do this to make sure it's always there so now if you come here you see that this is showing if you go to one that doesn't have a picture and we come here so let's choose one now so we're gonna go here and choose this one also so when we do that you see it's gonna start to update so when it finishes to update you see that now it changes like this and then it's updated also in the list so that's gonna do it for now if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you soon